says he overstayed his visa. But according to those experts and Senator Schumer, the INS has the ability to make exceptions for humanitarian reasons. The Shaban's lawyer is hoping to reopen the case as soon as next week. Roland? All right, Joanne, thanks. It was clear if they can. Andrea Day has their story. We got his letter of deportation on the day of my first chemo treatment. And I looked at my husband and I said, they put the nail in my coffin. It's, like it's the last thing Marianne Chabon thought she'd have to face. She's dying of lung cancer, but now the INS wants to deport her husband, the love of her life and father to her two kids. If he leaves the country, I am literally out on the street. I have nowhere to go. Louis Chabon entered the country from South Africa lawfully back in 93. But the INS says he overstayed his visa. And when the two married, the INS told them it was too late to change his status. The couple has spent years trying to cut through a maze of red tape. But now their time is running out. If I go, nothing, Marianne will be destitute. She'll be on the street. She has no one. Enter the Wilds' attorneys who saved John Lennon from deportation in the 70s. Wilds got the INS to agree to a year's stay through next January, but that's it so far. We have a government that is looking for terrorists internationally, and yet they're going after the Shaban family in Long Island. If he leaves the country after January, he'll be barred from re-entering for at least...